Hello, guys. We are here once more. And this time we we are with a um, producer and also pianist, professional pianist, and that's just amazing. I was listening to his songs, and I can tell you, Joe Kenny, where are you and who are you? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I'm from Philadelphia. I'm sporting the Philadelphia Eagles uh, sweater right now. So Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the United States, and uh, yeah, I've been a pianist since I was six years old and love every genre of music. And I think that comes through. So are you producing music? L let me just understand what we are talking about. because I have people just watching and also asking. So you are the pianist and also the producer of all those songs we found on Spotify. So I co-produce everything in terms of, um, I write the arrangements. So I write all the, musical parts. Um, I have input into what's produced. Don't necessarily have the computer know-how, but in terms of getting the arrangement the way we want it, I co-produce them and I, I'm the composer of the pieces too. Great. That's amazing. So that, let me just, just ask you something. Are you um, mixing music genres like that's not very similar, like hip hop and classical music? Yeah, so those are two genres that um, specifically in this most uh, recent song I uh, combine. I'm classically trained and love composing music based on chord progressions that are theoretically influenced by classical music. And I love all styles of music. So any hip hop that has piano in it inspires me. So I try to blend genres and quote different things from different genres all right that's good that's interesting so how it works when when you decided to start like oh i'm gonna uh, start mixing classical music with something that's more pop or hip-hop etc more popular i i want to say i mean uh when you decide to do that yeah so i i've been really i've been playing piano like i said since i was six i've been writing music since i was in high school so um, in, t in terms of writing music, I guess I've been writing music for like 15 to 20 years and my piano playing and improv and writing always is inspired by different genres. So I don't think it's a conscious choice to be like, Hey, let's do something specifically hip hop and classical. But when I'm writing the music, the theory and the chords are going to be informed by me wanting a direction that is exciting. And a lot of that's inspired by uh, classical, but maybe some of the harmonies are more hip hop or R and B. So I don't go into a song saying intentionally I need to work more classical into this or less. I just think that's the natural byproduct of my influences. And some songs that's more apparent than than others based on, you know, how how the final uh, final thing sounds. All right. Okay. So I'm I'm asking that because when I said to my colleagues that you mixed uh, hip hop and also there is some Beethoven uh, yeah. reference in the same song, they just said, "Oh, oh, genius, genius." <laughs> <laughs> so that was amazing, man. So what about the Thank voice on, on on that song you sent us? Was a hotline bling, bling well, hotline bling, right? So Hotline Bling is a solo piano song that I that uh, on Spotify actually is blowing up. But uh, the the hip hop blend that I wrote, because um, Hotline Bling honestly is by Drake, but the the song that I wrote, If It Lasts, with featuring Sterling Duns, um, oh, I that tune it. and that that's the tune that quotes Beethoven. Yeah, I quote one of his sonatas and right. uh, work with a great crew on that. That's great. That's great. So on Spotify, if you, for those starting to explore uh, your Spotify right now, um, which one is your your identity? The first one, like when you, you hear this one, you can identify, this is Joe Kenny. Which one you just um, suggest to start exploring your portfolio? I think that's a I think that's a great question because again, there is an eclecticism and I am prolific and 
you know, throughout the discography, there's everything from solo jazz fusion to you solo. Are too diversified to define with just one. That's what. You want <laughs> but, to but I want to try to answer your question though, because it's a good it's a good question and I think an important one. So, um, if you were to pick one to start with, I would say uh, start with the album Fourth and lead with Love. Because once you get into that album, you're going to get an instrumental. You're going to get stuff with vocals. Um, yeah, Lead With Love is down there. That's instrumental. But the next track you're going to get is a hip-hop song on that album. So if you run the album fourth from Lead With Love, that's a great one to do. Okay, of course, this so is- I'm going to do something then. Uh, I'm going to start with If It Lasts Remix. Is it okay? Yeah, that's, that, was, that was 1A. That was right. 1A. So it's the last one. No, yeah. the, the last one is actually prevailing, right? Prevailing, yeah. If it lasts, is uh, very new as well. Right. And that's with my uh my I'm going to get Sterling this Bell. one then. Uh, right Let's now on your Spotify, it's the, in the position 10. If it lasts, it's a remix, right? I'm going to start with them. And after that, we go to the other one. That I'm, I'm very curious because it has almost one million plays jesus christ <laughs> it, it, it made it <laughs> so let's thank you how it, how it works dang <sighs> gotta tell the truth Yeah, yeah, the veil is lifted, the truth is potent, the curtains open. We're super gifted, we're supernovas, extremely focused. We both are brilliant, there is no question, no second guessing. But the light is dim and what once was precious is simply stressful. I don't wanna change you, and I don't wanna suffer. I think we know the truth, but yet the silence is a buffer. I'm scrolling through the joys and laughs, it got me asking with passion why this thing wasn't everlasting. I don't wanna change you. Something needs to change You don't want to change me But I'm getting Trying to learn to grow, I've been stuck in my ways, but now I'm starting to flow. It ain't easy though. The pain I feel today feels hard to put in the words or put away, so I don't know. I need a sign, maybe something divine. More time, something to ease my mind. Yo, you know I'm trying. The pressure I feel is heavy weighted. What's worse, never trying or trying, knowing you'll never remember. I don't wanna leave you, but it's getting hard to stay. Demons make me bleed too And they just won't go away And though I know that we could try a little harder Go a little farther But even with resolve tonight It won't be solved, I just can't fight And if this feeling lasts It's time for different paths. Yeah, 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 the path is laid, now all that's left is to step into it. No going round or going over, gotta go through it. We watch many storms get better, and looking back on what we weathered, I can be proud of all we did together. I trust you'll find what keeps you relaxed and grounded, filled up with love, carefree, unbounded. If every minute counts and time heals all, me, the days that approach help us both do this loss. I know the way, but I don't know if it is the right path. I hope you find your truth and I sincerely hope for you. Just 
great man that was incredible i just loved it wow thank you thank you made you made something classical that normally and, and now i'm talking generally people goes more to pop etc and when you talk about hip hop we never imagine classical music and then we are listening to hip hop that's also very pop and also very classical at the same time this is a very good mix i just loved it and guess what he is in 38 playlists his songs are in 38 playlists joy you just made it man that's amazing i just love thank it. you Hi, thank you I'm, yeah what about those playlists so uh are they being being like listeners from spotify they are exploring your music also the jazz side also the pop and hip hop side or it's more classical yeah so it seems piano stuff um it, it's resonating for sure just by the numbers um but the more the more i put out and you know at, after time has passed the lee with love song that i had mentioned and songs that are more explored explorative and genres that's they're starting to catch on too and you know i'm just i'm just thrilled it's really exciting to hear your music uh being played in different countries and you know some of the playlists are actually for the solo piano stuff i've i've seen on playlists for like operating rooms from like surgeons and i think you know that's that's a really cool really cool and humbling uh thing for me just to you know see music making an impact where where it feels like it matters so okay i can Pretty see cool. that there is some playlist they are using your songs to teach others <laughs> in schools too yeah yeah there's like uh, classroom in, classroom instrumental playlist yeah that's one of the big ones for hotline bling and there's been a lot of offshoots from a really big central playlist there and that's that's really cool so it's again it's it's humbling and um, you know, I believe in my music, but when other people are listening to it and listening to it so much, it it uh, certainly affirming. It's really cool. Great. So I have people asking, "How old are you?" People oh man! Like to say, don't people don't like to say that? But we have to ask. I'm ask. happy to. Right. Happy to. But I mean, like, we should put a filter on without the beard because I think you'd be getting guesses that are way different because I got a baby face under it. But I, I'm 33. 33. All right. I'm 39. So we are talking about the same thing, the same vibe here. So I'll, I'm also making music, also producing music, and also distributing music to many other artists in more than 52 countries. So I know wow. how it works. It's difficult awesome. to have an independent artist. In, in your case, you are independent too, right? Yeah, okay. I am. So how do you do when you are producing a new song or even if it's a partnership, a new project, etc., with other artists, how do you do? You work on your own uh, marketing company, etc., the structure behind the music, not only the production, how it works for you. Yeah, so I'm thankful that my mind works in a way that I enjoy both sides of the creation pro process. And I think there's a balance in that. Um, you know, the music is a, the music I create is all about when it's being created. It's about the art. It's what resonates with me. I'm not trying to put it in a box as I think we were, you can kind of see. Um, but because I believe in the music and because I like to speak about it and write about it, I'm very aggressive um, and, you know, um, persistent about getting the music and casting a wide net, getting it to different, playlists to different um you know radio hosts blog outlets and um you know again because i believe in the music and the art i create i it, i'm not I, I i shamelessly will get the music out there and i'm happy to do it on my own it's something that i enjoy writing just to begin with so doing my own press and stuff like that um it's something that I love doing and you know since the recording artist stuff and also just the live performances and also I'm a teacher since that has all taken off 
and it's very, uh, very time consuming. I do have an assistant working with me now and she's doing a great job, but for the most part, yeah, it's, it's as the independent um, aspect goes, it's just, it's just the grind and it's something that I enjoy and do find balance in spending pockets of time creating art, creating piano music, practicing, you know, conceiving of different compositions and then getting the music out there, organizing spreadsheets and um, seeing how far, you know, it can go. That's amazing, Joe. I, I just love it because, you know, uh, I, I prefer to work with independent artists and I, I learn a lot. Every single independent artist from different countries, etc., they have different ways to work, but they are all very respected by what they are doing. That's building something, our independent career as a business from scratch. This is not easy. And in your case, you have many years of experience. I can see on your Spotify, you are releasing music since 2015. So it's eight years only on Spotify. Uh, and I'm not counting the, the, the years be, be, uh, uh, before Spotify, before the digital era, etc. So, uh, and you are also a teacher. So this is just amazing what you are doing and works as a reference for us because superpop.tv is for independent artists all the interviews uh, they are also people watching to, to because they like music music lovers but also many independent artists who are starting so do you have any message for those starting now yeah for sure for sure and i appreciate um um, you know, all the kind words, because I don't obviously have all the answers or even a large portion of them, but there are some things that I know through trial and error and such. And I, one thing that I believe is everybody's process is different. Um, you have to trust your own process and stick to it and focus on the art and know that, um, you know, if you're creating music that you believe in and you're getting good reception from that and you have a instinctual pull on that, um, you know, the sky, the sky's the limit. If, if it's something that's both authentically from you and it is resonating, uh, I think you have to believe in yourself. And I think you, I think putting out content and getting stuff to getting your music out to people, it, it's habitual. I think people can be bashful at first. And, you know, for me, when I started promoting myself, really building up the um, entrepreneurial side of things, it was difficult because it wasn't, it was a new thing for me. You know, you learn, learn along the way, but then it just becomes like anything else. It becomes uh, a new habit. And once that gets wired, it's just, uh, tweaking it, uh, navigating, making some small changes and just being consistent. And I think for me, it's been, I've had some cool milestones along the way, but for me, it's about, I believe in my art and I am consistent. Um, and I find a couple avenues that work for my process, like different playlist pitches and different, uh, types of videos and I'm consistent with it. I'm willing to evolve, but I'm always putting out content. Right. So can you talk about uh, this global music awards and being eight, so your music being eight different radio stations in North America, how you could do that? Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, and thank you for <laughs> the passion. I appreciate you. Um, the Global Music Awards is an online forum where people from all over the world can submit and they have a panel of judges who uh, listen to everything. I submitted in the album category for the album Fourth, which was multi-genre, jazz fusion, some hip hop, but all piano in the background, but some, you know, full band stuff, vocal features. And it won a bronze medal in that. And you know, I think they, they have some different categories. So I wasn't the only bronze medalist, but there are, but I was thrilled to be chosen. And uh, this is 2020, I submitted, uh, you know, and they sent me some feedback on the music. They sent me the, the 
like award certificate and it was cool it was good um you know again it's it's affirming to um have some of those accolades you know it starts with the art but it, it is affirming and it does help when you're trying to parlay successes into more exposure and successes to be able to point to some of these things you know um and the global music awards is a great forum for that and i'm grateful for them so after that you just got in eight different radio stations so, was so, so the yeah the queens of the awards oh right 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 man i got lost in my own head there you're asking two questions and i i stopped halfway through so oh, no, but i'm loving just to learn about all this detail. of course yeah. amazing yeah so I wouldn't say there's a direct correlation between that. So with the, that's, I think it all helps, but um, with the radio airplay for the album fourth, um, yeah, that was in about 85 stations. I sent it to my local Philadelphia stations. I had a press release um, and I had a few who picked it up, which was, exciting and great and from that I was able to pitch to um, a radio promoter who uh, took some time to listen to the stuff he said yeah let's pitch this I think it'll do well on college radio and some different places and yeah it did really well it it uh was on everything from public radio to some different internet streaming things to a lot of different college radios and, you know, across the country and some in Canada too. So I was stoked and, you know, working with that promoter, I was able to then for my solo piano album, do the promotion all by myself. And that also had success. So, um, that, that, you know, that's a really important, important step. It was certainly an investment, And it enabled me when I did my solo piano album to have some know-how and some more connections to then go out alone for that one. Right. Can you listen to Hotline Bling, uh, Bling right now? Sure, sure.
that's great. I, ju I was just relaxing and I could imagine just a good earphone, a good monitor, perfect and just relax and lose myself on that kind of song. I just love it. Amazing. Make me, makes Thank me you. very calm. It works it. as a therapy. Even for studying too, when you need to focus and get creative, this is amazing. A good, um, um, how can I say, a good tool to help us during the day to put on our in our playlist not only for studying for working for driving for every guys put those songs on your playlist when you need to get calm just listen to that kind of song perfect now i have a question about uh uh your uh, your instagram i just saw here mm -hmm. that you are an entrepreneur and what's that uh joe kenny enterprise yeah yeah so I incorporated uh, as an LLC and I'm slowly building that account. And that's, uh, I'm actually creating a website right now that it's inclusive of the stuff that I do as a recording artist, but also um, expanding into different things that are going to drop in 2023. Uh, I'm working on a, a book, I'm working on positive affirmations and it's just it's just a brand representing things that in the in my music and beyond kind of what I stand for and have some merch and have a lot of cool people who've created awesome apparel and different logos for me that you know hope, hoping to expand on in 2023 and have some have some things in the works for that yeah Okay, so uh, you are involved on your solo career, also in a band, and also entrepreneur. Yeah, I mean, sev several bands and um, several bands that I'm, I'm stoked to be in that all are very different, but, you know, very, very great musicianship and fun to work with. And, yeah, I think the whole thing as an as a you know solo business owner you are even just a musician in a way you got to view yourself as a ceo you got to view yourself as your own boss so i am officially incorporated you know and i think that just i but i think people who do the music thing it's kind of how you have to view yourself if that's going to be your main pursuit um so i'm leaning in and trying to expand it beyond you know, the typical content and piano um, forward stuff that I do and have it expand beyond and create something meaningful, both in music and what I have to say beyond music too, so. All right, great, great, great. So uh, I'm going to invite you to be part of our network, pophits.co. If you want, you can make music distribution to worldwide music stores like Spotify, Apple Music, etc. And also it's more than over 150 uh, music stores. And, and also the platform place your songs inside the servers of all social networks like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc, etc. So the users can use your music on reels, stories, shorts, you know. So uh, pophits.co, uh, it's a, a platform that is helping independent artists to distribute their music and it's our creation all right this is that's cool that's cool i'll check it out and you can uh, uh, distribute your music for free and uh, we work with the revenue generated by uh, the music stores all right we it's a non-profit platform a non-profit uh, startup and we revert the revenue to cause like uh, helping kids to be rescued for, from uh, child sexual slavery in many different countries. So uh, it's also a social cause. All right. That's amazing. That's amazing. Invitation. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you for what you do. Great, great, great. So now uh, how, let, just let us know where we can find you. So I know you have many social networks, etc. cetera, but I will, I'm not just going to say one because some people use one and other people use another one. So yeah, let yeah, us yeah. Know where we can find you, all of them. Sure. So 
uh, for Facebook and TikTok and Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. It's at Joe Kenning Piano for all those. Um, you can find me on Bandcamp, Joe Kenning Piano dot bandcamp dot com. Uh, I have my official website, JoeKennyPiano.com. If you want to know what my full band is doing, JoeKennyBand.com. 2023 is going to come out with JoeKennyEnterprises.com, and that has um, everything about my shop and affirmations and lyric posters and different things. And Spotify, Apple Music, just ask my name, Joe Kenny. Make sure you have that second E, K-E-N-N-E-Y, just from experience that that can. <laughs> um, oh, I will and... have my, my microphone was muted. I said K-E with Y in the end. Yeah, K-E-N-N-E-Y. That's right. Yeah. So. Right. And Bunt Camp. Say that again. Bunt Camp. Bandcamp, yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, I'm, yeah. I'm on there. American Bandcamp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to process it for me. I know it sounded uglier when I said it. I didn't know that. Didn't notice that. Bund, Bundcamp. Uh, I say <laughs> Bundcamp. <laughs> Solid impression. I'll give it to you. So okay, so um, where we can find you for live performances now? Yeah, so. I'm in the Philadelphia area. I did a tour in 2020, but I am in the Philadelphia area of uh, Pennsylvania, and we play uh, throughout the greater Philadelphia area. I'm going to be at um, this restaurant in Philadelphia January 20th called Heritage, January 27th at a place called Sheree Punjab. It's an Indian restaurant in Media, Pennsylvania, the suburbs. And with one of my projects, that's a Grateful Dead cover band, January 21st, I'm going to be in Collegeville, Pennsylvania. Actually going to be in Baltimore, in Maryland, for people a little bit more south, um, April 14th at Full Tilt Brewing, April 16th at Cat's Eye Pub. And then we're looking for some more shows along the East Coast for later in 2023, maybe in the summer. And you can find all the shows throughout all my projects at joekenny.com slash performances. Perfect. So for those going to your website, joekennypiano.com, and there we can find all social networks and also about the band and also merch like T-shirts, etc. all the branding stuff. That's perfect, man. You are like in the right path. There is nothing to that I could even give you. Oh, I'm going to give you a tip. No, you are teaching me because you will know everything. You know everything. That's amazing. So, uh, Joy, <laughs> yeah. thank you very much to be present for this interview. Uh, we are going to publish the interview and also an article with our mu your uh, lyric video and also attached with our songs, some of our songs, the best ones and also some pictures. Great. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. And this was a great opportunity. I had a blast. All right. God bless you. And when you have a new um, uh, release, just contact us. We have a new interview talking about the new release, the new project. All right. Sounds great, man. Thanks so much. Great. Thank you. Bye. See you next time. Take care.